Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day and today we're gonna do a little bit of like a fall makeover. I know it's summer. I know that it's the middle of August. However, I feel like, you know, when I go Halloween hunting and I'm just out in stores and stuff, some places are already getting rid of Halloween and it makes me sad that like it's literally the middle of August and it's already leaving. So I figured I might as well go ahead preemptively rock my little Halloween look for a while. And yeah, I've been feeling kind of like down on myself about how I look recently. I don't know. I just feel like I haven't had time to like really prioritize looking good every day. So that's what I wanted to do. I want to take a little bit of time today and make myself feel presentable. So I need to get rid of these blonde roots that make me look balding because, oh my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm going to dye my roots black with some leftover dye that I already have. I did see when I did this blonde under here, some comments saying that like, if I'm dyeing my hair black, I don't need a strong developer. I can use something really low. So I will be getting some of that stuff soon. I'm just trying to use up what I already have. Uh, so I'm going to use a low developer to keep my hair healthy going forward after this. And I want to make this blonde that I worked really hard on orange. I Okay, so I did that video and I bleached it like two or three times after that. And I tried like conditioners, Olaplex purple, um, purpley blue shampoos, everything. The roots right here, stunning, gorgeous, fabulous, Bride of Frankenstein, perfection, love it. But the ends are just very stained, kind of yellowy and weird because I had black box dye on for a long time. Like lots of layers of black box dye, they're not perfect and they just look kind of especially this side, this side's the worst. They just don't look very good. Like down here is just bleh. And I, I can't get it to lift anymore without risking breaking it off. So we're just gonna dye that orange. I have some Arctic Fox dye, which is my favorite dye, of course. I have Sunset Orange, which is a bright orange and Neon Moon. This can come out, when you use it just straight up, can come out a little bit red and I very much want pumpkin orange. You can add a dash, like a baby dash of purple to it too to make it a little more gingery. I'm not really looking for that, so I'm just gonna use these two today, a dash of this, mostly this. And we're gonna have black and orange hair once again. This is not the first time I've done this, but it's been the first time I'm doing it just underneath, I think. So let's get started. I realized that was a long intro and my apologies for that, but we're gonna dye my hair. I'm gonna try to look cute. And then we're going to do a little bit of makeup to kind of complete the look together. So we'll do like a hair dye and get ready with me moment today. Yeah, I'm just really trying to get these roots. I don't really care about dyeing my ends right now, especially because we are doing this all in one go. We're going to do the orange at the same time that this black is processing. So I hope you guys are doing well. It feels weird only posting two videos a week, but I... I know what I have time for these days and also trying to make other content on other platforms as well. Um, so it feels weird posting less on YouTube, but maybe some weeks when I have a little more time, I'll post three instead of two. But as of right now, I am posting two. Um, yeah, it feels a little weird. I'm also going to go ahead and pull this hair up so it doesn't run into the blonde parts that will soon be orange, you know? But I hope you guys are doing well. I'm loving Halloween hunting. So I recently posted a video and I showed you guys that I found the Headless Horseman. It was my Halloween decor haul part two. If you missed that video, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I found after like six or seven years, the Headless Horseman statue at TJ Maxx for $30. And uh, it was... It was a beautiful moment in my life finding the Headless Horseman, but my cats broke it. I put it on the spot that I wanted him to be, which was on a windowsill. It's a very wide windowsill though. Um, and I was like, this would be a perfect spot. No one ever touches this spot and it's off on its own. It's weird. It's like this weird little front window of my entryway. It's like awkward and we never touch it. The cats never even look out of it anything but I just set it on the it's a very wide window still had plenty of room and I put it up there for a minute and then my cats got curious about it as I went to go get museum gel to secure him in place so he wouldn't get knocked over and he got knocked over instantly and he shattered and in the video I showed you that he broke and it looks like it's a clean break but in reality it's about 20 pieces <laughs> 
And I still have them because I'm not going to throw them away. And I'm going to try to repair them with probably hot glue because it's a quick setting situation when I have to do so many pieces of it. I tried repairing broken Halloween and gothic decor with epoxy and super glues and gorilla glues and all kinds of stuff. Epoxy is the strongest but it takes forever. E6000 to just, they take forever to set. When you're doing multiple pieces you need to set quick so I think I'm going to hot glue them back together. Well, I had a good sob and cry about that. Like when I say I had a cry about it, I had a full blown didn't eat dinner that night like sobbing mess about it. Just because it's like I had hyped this up my mind for so long and I wanted him and I finally found him and it was like oh yay finally this moment I've been looking for forever and I understand that it's just a piece of Halloween decor and I really shouldn't have got that upset about it but I did it is what it is that I that's how much I like this I like I wanted this and I was so happy to have found it and then just to have it shatter instantly without even like having time to enjoy him it broke me a little bit it's embarrassing, but it did. And I, my husband was like, he has this thing, right? Where I like, if he tells me something, I'll believe it. He told me, you'll find another one. And I was like, no, you don't understand. It took me years to find it, you know? He's like, you're going to find another one. Don't worry about it. And he was right, you guys. He was right. I don't know. I guess him being cool, calm, and collected settles down the fact that I just like was overly upset um but I did find another one I went to Marshall's I passed by Marshall's and I wasn't gonna go and I was like no I, sh I should go something told me to go so I did I thought I was probably gonna find like cute plates because I really wanted a new set of spooky plates this year and I haven't found one yet like in a print that I really love and that's what I thought I was gonna get there uh no turns out there was a headless horseman. Now, was it the all gold one or the all black one? No, it was the same one that I broke. It was the black one with the orange pumpkin head with the light in it. And it was still $29.99, $30. So I'm $60 in. But I have a headless horseman. So there's that. I will say the TJ Maxx headless horseman had a better paint job on the pumpkin than the Marshalls one. But like... I, I could not believe I found another one after so many years of never finding a single one, you know? I'm also trying to put a little bit of black dye in my brows and uh, I don't have a brush for this at the moment. So the story does have a happy ending that I have a headless horseman. Have I put him in that windowsill spot? No, I'm scared. <laughs> I will put him somewhere. Right now, he's sitting against the wall on my dining room table because I didn't want to put him in the center of the table and he'd fall over and break and um anywhere else just feels precarious at the moment so I have not determined where to put him I thought that windowsill spot on this rather haggard looking windowsill that we don't use was the perfect spot now I feel like that spot's cursed and I can never put anything there <laughs> so we'll see We'll see where I end up putting them. You know, it's interesting that places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Home Goods, where I'm presuming they're selling a ton of Halloween decor. Like whenever I'm in line buying stuff, there's always a ton of people buying Halloween decor. They get rid of it so early, like it's already pushed to like one thing, you know? Comparatively to like TJ Maxx and, um, not TJ Maxx, like Target and Walmart, where I presume they probably sell a lot of Halloween too, but it's just cheaper stuff, like cheaper made stuff. They haven't even put that out yet. Like, I haven't been to Target. I've seen some people saying the Bullseye Playground has some, but I, I don't live near Target to go to a Target all the time. Um, I've heard some people say that they have some, but like my Walmart has none. And my Walmart doesn't even have AC in most of the store. It's only in the food department. Is anybody else's like that? Okay, here's my little orange mixture. It looks kind of red, but honestly, I think it's going to be fine. I look crazy with this stuff in my eyebrows. Uh, this makeover is supposed to be a good one, not a bad one. But let's just apply this orange. And I need to order some more gloves. But the point I was getting at is like, the places who sell the fancy Halloween decor get rid of it before October even happens. And the places who sell the cheap Halloween decor, like, like Walmart, they only do it in like 
mid-September, early October. And by the time Halloween actually comes around, it's already gone. Like, the Halloween decor is usually gone by the time Halloween comes. The only thing left over is candy. And unless you were waiting outside of the store November 1st, you're not getting any discount Halloween candy because people buy that up the second Halloween is over because it's on sale. And I understand that and I've always wanted to buy like some good discount Halloween candy. It's just not in me to wait outside of a Walmart at 5 a.m. for candy. Something about putting a bright dye in my hair feels almost nostalgic, nostalgic these days because my hair has been black for like a year. So here's this. I'm going to get this black dye on my brows because I feel like with it in there but we'll be back and I'll show you the finished hair and then we'll do the makeup alrighty so this is how black my hair is it looks great like it's actually very dark black for once um, and then I usually I have my hair tucked on my hair a lot like I always tuck my hair on my hair it looks good right like it's so vibrant it's a little bit of a redder orange but as I wash it and stuff it will fade on this side um, I need to touch up right here a little closer and down here I feel like a little bit of the orange is contaminated by the black like it's a little darker it still looks good I don't typically wear my hair like this but I feel like it still works I do do this a lot though so it looks nice I'm actually just so happy with how black my hair looks because it doesn't look faded and my rootage isn't everywhere so that's good. For my makeup, I think I'm just going to do my base face like normal. So I'm going to use the Pretty Fresh ColourPop and then the KVD concealer. Um, I'm going to do my base face. I'll be right back. We'll talk about my eye makeup. And I have a new lip color to try that I haven't tried yet. So that's what we're going to do. I just feel like the base face you see me do a million times, like me applying foundation. So it's not going to be as interesting. But I know when I don't do it, someone's going to complain. Anyway, I'm just going to do it. It's hot in here. I can't think about everything. All right, base face is done. My eyebrows are distant cousins today. I just, it's just what happened. I didn't feel like messing with it again. Um, and my skin usually is not great for the first day after I dye my hair. I just feel like the harsh chemicals on my hair. And then like when you're washing it out and the, I don't know, my skin doesn't like it. So here's my base face. Pretty simple. Today I want to use a new liquid lipstick from Unicorn Gang Shop that, you know, went viral on TikTok several times. I have a new color. I ordered one right it was henna and i really like the color and i did a little TikTok trying it on for the first time it was lovely but then i ordered a new color a second color called cinnamon and we're going to try that color out today and then for eyeshadow i wanted to try out the new kaleidos palette there is two of these little palettes here so let me show you both one's more of a purple packaging one's more of a pink packaging so this purple one is more purple in color really cute color scheme but with the orange trying to show off my fall look i don't feel like this is it but this one which is called venus trap it's much cooler so we have this little bit of a pastel pink shade but then we have some just regular everyday tones and i think for my kind of everyday fall look that's what we're gonna use this and this looks kind of like a glittery shade so we will see i just want to do all over neutrals in the eyes and then try out the new liquid lipstick so i'm gonna take a big blending brush this is the one from the cinderella collection from kaleidos i'm gonna take this pastel pinky shade underneath of my brow bone just as like a base i'm wearing a lot of eyelid makeup whether it be a little bit of eyelid primer and a lot of concealer because i did dye my brows and that did dye my skin and then i tried to cover that up <laughs> with makeup it is showing up lightly pink because it is a light pink Next up, I'm just going to take these two shades. I'm going to start off with this one, building up to this darker one, and put it all over my crease. Nothing crazy. Again, everyday fall look. I mean, a lot of my looks look fall inspired just because I like those tones. I like a warm eye look too. Like the Rust palette from Melt is one of my favorites. It's super beautiful. I love that palette. However, I wear cool tones more than anything. Cool tones are like a slightly, like a, like a very neutral, slightly warm nude look. It's just every day I can just put it everywhere and not have to think about it. People who tell you they do complex, com like uh, cut creases and 
execute amazing Halo Eyes every single day have more time on their hands than I do because that's a lot of effort every day. I mean, I'm sure it looks fabulous. They're probably super hot. I don't have time for all that, honestly. And even if I did, like, I don't think, if, I think if you do a complex, crazy, beautiful, intricate eye look every single day, maybe you'd appreciate it less. Because now that I do like, something like this every day with something on my lid, when I do a more complex, like a beautiful halo eye or something, I appreciate it more. Like I, I don't know. Like, yeah, maybe I should look that hot every day, but it's just not in me these days. So I appreciate it more when I do a more complex look. And then this is that shimmer. It looks very metallic. I'm gonna put this all over my lid. Not too much base pigment with that. I can kind of still see my eyelid underneath of it, but it's very glittery. And I love the silver blending together with my crease so we don't have a harsh seam. And then I'm gonna do the lighter of the brown shades under the first or the last half, the outer half of my eyes. This is a big fat shader brush from ColourPop E7. I was trying to find the, the number. I'm only gonna do it to like the center of my eye. Cause our lip is a darker lip, right? So I don't wanna make this too heavy of an eye look, but let's do mascara and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna take some Epic Ink White Eyeliner from NYX just to brighten up the inner corner of my eye a little bit. One of my favorite things. I don't wear this every single day now. Like if I'm in a rush, I'll skip this step. But I feel the most me with it. I don't know. I feel like it's just like a signature thing that I do to my face. <laughs> it gets so brightening and so lovely. I will say though, when they say it's epic wear, this thing's epic wear eyeliner, it is. Because when I'm scrubbing my face off in the night, this is the part, because it's in like a sensitive piece of skin, because it's your eye, and it's a little harder to remove. Just say it. It is definitely epic wear. I'm gonna take some of this one size beauty liquid eyeshadow and let's pump. These dry out very quickly, I would not recommend. I'm trying to like scrape the sides of it right now to get to use it but they have really good sparkle. And I'm gonna follow that up under my area for a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm just gonna use mascara. This is the double-sided Huda one. I use volume on top, curl length on the bottom, and um, Exit from ColourPop, which is the white one, for the rest of my eyes before lashes. But, okay, so you guys know I did a bunch of, maybe you know, I don't know how long you've been here. Maybe you know I did a bunch of Flip the Crypt videos of like home renovations when I we bought this house over a year ago and I had so many other ones of those plans but my computer corrupted and I lost files of months of work of you know renovating our house that was going to be for those videos you know certain areas had tons of footage because these things take time and after I lost those projects I stopped doing the flip the crit videos the videos weren't doing well for the amount of time it took to me to like do them make them edit them but I enjoyed them but after I lost several projects that were like they were like almost done really good videos I gave up the flip the curve videos well I just want to let you know that I'm thinking about doing one soon in our kitchen which has more progress than you've seen previously but if I don't because I've been playing with the idea of doing it right because the kitchen is a huge undertaking. If I don't make a flip the crip one, you guys can still follow the progress of home renovations, home decorating. There's tons of decorating and styling videos on my TikTok. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I have been toying with the idea of doing another flip the crip video because it's been so long. But if I don't, if I decide no, you'll still see all kinds of home decor content on my TikTok, I like if I thrift something and I I paint it and I make it look prettier. If I buy an old table and I need to sand it down and stain it and give it a new life and decorate it, those are the kind of things you'll see on my TikTok, along with extra Halloween hunting videos. Because if I'm just taking a trip to one store, I'm not going to make a full YouTube video for it. Clearly, 
um, but you can see me do that if I get a haul of like little things you can see that there all to say whereas I am posting less on YouTube I'm still doing things on other things like trying out liquid lipstick formulas for the first time or just a little build an outfit with me or something like that lazy girl crock pot no dishes dinners are up there too like I love YouTube YouTube is my love like it's my favorite right but when I don't have time for long YouTube videos and long editing sessions I'm still posting things elsewhere that you can enjoy for free it's free you know if you guys do have a suggestion though for white eyeliners like I use exit from ColourPop I also have a NYX white one let me know what your favorite white eyeliner is for your waterline because I love the creamy gel ones the regular pencils for my eyes but both of the ones that I have, they're like not bright enough. Like you can tell they're white in there, right? They're not nude. But they just, they're not like, like, they're not bright. Like I'll go over it several times. So here's the white in my liner. Here's without. You can definitely tell it's lighter in there, but like I want a popping, just a brighter white eyeliner. And the trees are screaming again, you guys. If you're from the south, you know the trees be screaming means fall is probably on its way. Cicadas. Cicadas who leave like the little little body crispies, crunchy, hollow shells on the bottom of trees and stuff. The trees are screaming, which means we should definitely get ready for fall. I guess when you say it like that though, if you're not from the south and you don't know what a cicada is or what a cicada sound like, you'll just hear <laughs> coming from the trees at all times. Like, they'll do it for like five minutes, it'll stop completely, and you'll be like, oh yeah, the trees were screaming. You, like, sometimes you don't even hear it anymore, it's just part of your life. So I'm gonna put on some regular little lashes. These aren't very big, these are just like an everyday lash for me. Also, look at this cute hand mirror. It's from this new Kaleidos collection. It's very cute. Like, it's small and petite, so you could travel with it if you wanted to. I just like having a hand mirror. Okay, now that my eye makeup is done, very simple everyday look, but... That's fine, because look, we have so much dramatic hair color going on with the pitch black hair and the bright orange. Let's do a darker lip. Okay, okay, so this is the Unicorn Gang shop. Let me swatch both shades that I have. Okay, so I have two shades. These are not sponsored, but if you go to my TikTok, my tip top, my TikTok um, storefront thingy, you can see these, and you can buy through there, and I'll get like a little commission, I think. I don't know. Um, so the first one I got is Henna. I wish the shade name was on the bottom, but because the, in, the bottom is indented, I think they just stick the shade name on the back. This one's Henna. I tried it on for a TikTok, like I said, I wore it for the day. It has like a strawberry fake fragrance to it, but it's very comfortable. So here's Henna. It's a beautiful dark brown. I love a dark brown. I saw that color, I was like, yes. They also have a grungy, mustardy brown that is very 2000s grunge, it's even called that. It's kind of a pukey color, but I'm kind of into it. I'm thinking about getting, and then this is the new one I haven't tried yet. It's called Cinnamon. So it's this, it's this lighter one here. They're kind of similar. I just love browns, but I haven't tried Cinnamon on yet. So let's do it. Mm, it's, it's a really comfortable formula, and it does kind of wear off in the center of your lips whenever you eat something or drink out of a straw. It's not bad when you drink out of a straw, but it does start to fade a little bit but when you eat food it does come off but it's so comfortable and nice and if you're just like doing errands and stuff maybe once in a while taking a sip of something like you don't have to touch your makeup up i definitely drew my lips on too big today ah, it's gonna look like i have lip filler even though i don't because i just drew my lips way too big but it's fine it's just this side it got a little out of hand it's, I think it's okay though. I think it'll be fine. I don't feel like redrawing my mouth on. Okay, so let me go finish up my hair and everything because it's like a mess right now. All right guys, so this is the finished look. What do we think? I look very simple. Lip color's pretty, right? But this, the exception of, I think I put too many layers on this edge here and it's a little dry right here, but the rest of my mouth is very comfortable. We have the bright orange peeking through. It's very cute. I think I'm just gonna do this when I tuck my hair up here is pull the black back just out of the way and then leave this like highlighted, you know? Um, I'm wearing that Timu necklace that I got in that haul. I think it's very cute. I just don't know if it fits this neckline. I don't know. But 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this little get ready with me, hair dye, makeup, feel better about myself. Like, I feel pretty cute today. Um, and I, I feel like I haven't really taken the time to, like, pay attention to looking cute in a minute. So, I, you know, this feels a little better. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this journey. I hope you guys have a beautiful day wherever you are and stay safe out there. Stay cool. It's like, it's just so, it's just so hot. I don't know. I moved to Florida for the heat, right? Because I hate the cold. But I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to a Florida fall winter. Cuz sometimes winters aren't bad. It's like a mild 60 degrees and I can deal with that, you know? But anyways, thank you guys. Have a beautiful day. Bye. <laughs>